Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with another episode coming at you guys from downtown LA. We are, of course, doing E3. It's actually my first one that I've been to, and it is just nuts. Mind-blowing how many games are out there, how busy the crowds are, and I've got some exclusive content for you. But before we get into that, we are, of course, checking out the tech that I like to bring with me on my travels. We've got a couple packs down there, as I am staying right up there at the Sheraton. So this first piece of tech, I actually went all travel ons this time. I wanted to keep things light. This is from Blue Smart, the first piece of smart travel tech that you can get. It's essentially a smart piece of luggage. Fit all of my clothes into this thing. It also has a portable power bank, just in case you're running out of battery. Super easy to use. Twists on all four wheels, and it actually has location tracking corresponding with an app, just in case you lose this guy. Such a solid piece of kit for your travel gear. So for the pack that I went with, this is obviously from Air SF, my favorite travel packs. This is a smaller one as I wanted to keep things compact for the show floor. This is called the Fit Pack. And inside we have all the essentials, the bare minimums that we're running with. Of course, we've got 2016 MacBook Pro. We've got the D-Brand skin on the back and the front, little bits of orange all throughout. And this has actually powered this entire trip. I posted my footage from the Xbox One exclusive event all edited on this bad boy. So nice to have something powerful, but can still fit nicely into your knapsack. So quick little story, we just got kicked out of the park, but we're back at the hotel to keep up our tech game. So this is what I bring with me to charge all of the gear. This one's from Coach here. Why I actually like this, I know it looks like a Medusa web of cables, and I have three different cables color-coded each for lightning, iPhone, USB-C and micro USB all in different colors and it reaches any piece of tech that I've got charging in my hotel room. To keep everything juiced up on the showroom floor as you're always hunting for signal, I've brought the Phone Salesman wireless charging puck. This is so clutch as you always run out of juice posting all those Insta stories. And of course, the phone that I'm bringing, I switched back to team iPhone. I just can't leave this. iMessage, these two are probably the most used pieces of tech on this trip. And most of you know that I'm recording now with the Sony a7R2. We've got the Rode Video Micro up top, as well as this makeshift Benro travel tripod and the little Manfrotto trifecta piece on the bottom. Everything that I mentioned in this episode is linked, of course, down below. And as I mentioned, I'm rocking the Battis 18mm 2.8 on the a7R2 there for some of my portrait shots. And when I was at the Xbox keynote to get in a bit tighter, this is the Battis 1.8 85mm. I usually swap between both. I know that it's not as versatile as having a zoom range, but primes are the way to go. They're crispier, they're cleaner, and the Battises look so, so sexy. Headphones of choice, I actually switched back to the Bose QC35s. These are, of course, wireless sound cancelling headphones. I use these mainly when I'm on my four and a half hour flight to Toronto from LA. Super comfy, battery life, you don't even have to charge them twice, as they should last you a solid 15, 16 hours. Plus, they always have that nice option of a three and a half millimeter headphone jack that you can use for in-flight purposes, as we've got those old school screens that still require you to plug in headphones versatile and obviously they just work and sound great. Everywhere else I'm rocking the Apple AirPods. These are lightweight, of course. I've lost a couple in my day, but especially when I'm at the gym, trying to find my place of zen, listening to my Harry Potter audiobooks, rocking these guys one AirPod at a time. One of the last pieces of tech that managed to fit into that small pack is of course the DJI Mavic Pro. Love traveling with this drone. If you haven't used it yet, Look how small it folds up into. I'm actually going today to Santa Monica, hopefully getting some slick B-roll with Nick and hoping that this guy can fly down there. Fingers crossed. Sweet little drone, perfect to travel with. Last but not least, some of the best pieces of swag that I picked up at E3. We've got a limited edition Xbox One, technically X controller. This says made at E3 2017, number 64 out of a thousand, and they hooked it up. It's got bits of orange throughout, the rubberized grips. This thing is honestly the grail for me, and I'm so, so stoked that I managed to grab this. We've also got an Xbox One X pin, custom engraved with my name, gamer tag, 
Team Xbox all the way. Big, big thanks to Team Xbox Canada for sending me out to my very first E3. Had tons of fun. Hopefully I'll be able to make it out to a couple more E3s and share my sweet experiences. I hope you guys enjoy the tech that I like to bring with me on my, of course, travels. And I will catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes, one of my next vlogs. And of course, linked up here is my hands-on footage of the Xbox One X. Peace.